The great thing about the muscle car era is that the factory created new high-performance models based on existing platforms, meaning that there's a great deal of parts compatibility. On one hand, that makes clones possible, but on the other, it allows an enterprising enthusiast the ability to build dream cars that may have never existed in the first place. Take, for example, this 1969 Dodge Coronet convertible, fully dressed in Super B regalia with a thumping 440 under the hood. While the factory never built such a beast, it doesn't take much to build your own Phantom, a car that the factory could have built, but never did. This stunning convertible was completely rebuilt from the ground up to be not only brutally fast, but impressively accurate as well. The bodywork was straightened and finessed until it was as straight as a Concorde contender, and since well-known builder Reed Stevens knew this car would be getting a lot of scrutiny at shows, he went the extra mile to make sure everything lined up correctly. Two-stage urethane accurately reproduces the rally green finish, which has a lot of metallic and a hint of gold underneath, so it positively glows in the sunlight. If you crave attention at the Mopar Nationals, this is your ride. If you build a car that looks this fast, you'd better be able to back it up. Fortunately, the guys dipped into the Mopar parts bin, just as the factory would have, and served up a thumping 440 cubic inch V8 topped by a big four barrel, although a freshly rebuilt six-pack setup is included with the car. The Hemi orange enamel on the block is as nice as the paint on the body. The decals throughout are accurate, and even things like hoses, clamps, and the windshield wiper motor are correct. The only transmission you wanted in your Super B, factory issued or otherwise, is an A833 four-speed manual topped by a Hurst shift linkage and feed in an eight and three-quarter inch rear with street-friendly 355 gears on a sure grip. There's a massive three inch exhaust system with an X pipe and electric cutouts just ahead of the stock style mufflers, as well as a set of disc brakes up front, and it offers fresh shocks at all four corners, new lines and hoses throughout, and a shiny clean gas tank hanging at the rear. The fender tag says this originally had a black bench seat, but you can't argue with the jaw-dropping looks of the black and white bucket seat setup that's in there now. Fresh black carpets, reproduction door panels, and that gorgeous center console give it a high-performance look and a new car feel. All the gauges have been rebuilt and are fully functional, even the tick-tock tachometer. Just looking at the quality of the workmanship, it shouldn't be a surprise that this car costs more than $100,000 to build but that only makes it an outstanding example of a supercar meant to be driven. For more information on this impressive Mopar and others, call, click, or visit rkmotorcharlotte.com.